Welcome to our last week in India and especially in Delhi. We have spent almost more than three months in India and here are some of our highlights of our last week that we have spent in India. We are starting today at the Mind Stomp. After that we will be taking you to the Red Fort. We also go to the Lodi R district and the garden and we will be going into Old Town. Um, one of the things that was really cool about the Himalayan Stomp is how beautiful and big it is over there. Um, the size of it reminded us of the Taj Mahal. Also, if I could give you some advice, make sure that you go there early in the morning or either way late at night when the sun is going down. Uh, so as you could see, we had some of the most beautiful scenery because the sun was setting down. So we were using a golden hour. After the Imayan Stomp, we were taking ourselves towards the Red Fort. The Red Fort is next to the Old Town, so it's perfect to combine. Also, one of the things that I would advise, go early in the morning, don't go on the weekend because it can get really busy as we had. Um, I was surprised with how big it is, the Red Fort, and also with how many things there are to do. You have one or two museums that you can visit. One is especially about the photographs of the Indian doors. India is really famous for their beautiful doors. They come in all sizes and shapes. And another one is a art, art museum that they have, um, where they've made all kinds of things out of metal, out of scrap metal. They also have these beautiful buildings and architectures you will see. And on the other side of the Red Fort, we were going to the Old Town. We had first thought to just walk around Old Town, but then they came up to us um, that they could just give us a really nice price and that they could just drive one or two hours just in these red carts, the bicycles. Um, you don't have to get yourself a tour or anything, you can just walk up to them. It's costly around the one or two euros, I guess. This is really the oldest town of Delhi. It's surprised at how many people there are still living in these buildings. Also, one of the funny thing is there are still people that are just standing there with a skill just to see how much you weigh, which will cost you about the five rupees, most of the time, which is about five euro cents. We also visited some of the most well-built blocks in India and how crowded it is. I did mute all the mute. I did mute all the sounds for you because otherwise it would be too crazy. But going into Old Town is very cool. You get to see all the old buildings. You walk over the old markets. Of course, they would like to get you into some souvenir shop, which they love to put you in. They will show you around the spice shops, to get all the local spices, and it's really something that we would recommend. And after the old town, we went to the Lodi Art District. Um, if you go there, go early in the morning. It's not just an art street, it's really a district. You have to walk a couple blocks. Sometimes you have a block without any art in it and sometimes you have blocks that is full of it. Um, there's this massive walls and buildings that they have decorated like uh, on a big size as well. We really loved it. You have to walk a bit for it. It's not just one street, it's a lot. And literally one of the last things that we did in India was visited, visiting the Lodi Garden. Um, we regret it because we couldn't take Sarah with us to the Lodi Garden. We thought this is a place that they don't really accept dogs. Um, I said it's a garden so a lot of people will be there, a monument. But we were totally wrong about that. You are allowed to take your dog with you as long as he or she is on the lease. Also at the end of the day uh, we saw so many people with their pet. Um, we really felt sorry that we left our home. <laughs> but the lorry garden is free. You can just walk in there. There is 
no entry or anything. You can just have a picnic over there. It was one of our favorite places in Delhi that we wish that we would have visited sooner. Um, especially that it's also pet friendly in there. It's just really big and beautiful and well maintained and it has so many nice flowers. Also, this is one of the last vlogs that we have in Delhi. The last one will be about Holi, a special day. Um, so make sure to follow us, like, subscribe and leave a comment. We will see you next time.